Moving on to an X-ray of Kennedy's skull, multiple fractures are evident. To Cummings, the pattern of fracture lines is a clue to the bullet's direction. As the bullet impacts the skull, the fracture lines will radiate off from that point of impact. As that's happening, the head is also expanding from this incredible pressure wave that's occurring inside the head. In tests at the Biophysics Laboratory, an Army research center, Carcano bullets were fired into human skulls filled with ballistic gelatin. First, the impact of a bullet entering from the rear causes fractures to radiate forward. But almost at the same instant, a pressure wave inside the gelatin causes a second wave of fractures in a perpendicular direction, just like what Cummings sees on the Kennedy X-ray. So you have these long fractures that'll radiate out from an entry wound, and then you have these concentric fractures that happen perpendicular to the original fracture lines. If Kennedy had been shot from the grassy knoll, the primary fracture lines would radiate backwards from the front. But the X-ray shows the opposite. They radiate forward from the rear. Based on this fracture pattern in the skull, I think we can definitively say no, there is no shot from the side or from the front. 